who was the quarterback and offensive MVP of the 2007 Fiesta Bowl. The iconic night that Boise State knocked off Oklahoma and the Sooners with the Statue of Liberty play and so many other incredible moments from that. Jared Zabransky joining us here on the show. Jared, good morning. How you doing, bud? Good morning. Hey, man, thanks for having me on. It's an uh, exciting time of year, and you guys are you guys are doing it right by heading out to Boise and, and uh, honoring that, that blue field. So um, I'm excited to, to listen to the show when y'all are out there, and hopefully we can link up and, and talk a little football while we're while y'all are out there as well. So. No doubt about it, man. Thanks so much for that, and I can't wait to be out there as well. What was it like being a quarterback for that program? Because it's unlike, I think, most college football programs. It is an, an entire city that really comes together on Saturdays for the program. It must really feel like you get lifted up by everybody in the community every week. And you know what? It is uh, it is the biggest ticket in the in the city. And, you know, there's, there's a semi-league, uh, semi-pro hockey team that used to have uh, – a farm team for the Utah Jazz, uh, and but that was th- those were kind of second, always secondary to the football program, and you know it, everything in that city on Saturdays is wrapped around Boise State football and and the success that we had there um, and continue to have you know over the past thirty plus years, um, you know the fans were a, a, a really big part of that. And you know the energy that you feel in that stadium. The stadium, I think, holds somewhere in the mid 30s now. Um, but when you guys are there, you'll feel it. It's it's one of the loudest stadiums I've played in in my career uh, at any level. Um, and I've played in front of 100,000 people, and and the the state the stadium seating is very vertical, so the fans are right on top of you. Um, and it gets electric. You know, they get loud on defense several times. I had to quiet them down on offense because they were so excited from a big play or a defensive turnover. And, and you know, the, during my time there, we were pretty electrifying on offense. So, you know, we would hit big play after big play. So those fans had a lot to cheer for, for sure. But it was uh, a lot of fun. Um, I think you guys are going to enjoy it. And I heard you mention uh, potatoes and – I heard you mention that someone's going to be eating uh, a potato for every meal. Yeah, that's not going to be difficult to find, <laughs> but it's going to be difficult to get through. You, you, that stomach's going to be pretty full now. <laughs> so, if we were trying to line up going and eating potatoes as part of every meal for ten straight meals, what's your power rankings in terms of Boise potatoes? You know, home fries, mashed potatoes, tater tots. Give me the list. Where are you going on that? Oh man, it really depends on what you want. Now you you guys are gonna, y'all are in New York, so it's you know one of the meccas, the cuisine meccas of the United States and the world. I'm down here in Houston right now, so I could I'd argue that Houston's just as good or better than New York cuisine, but that's for another that's for another day. But Boise has really good food, y'all. So if you guys want a list, you know I can send you something after the show. But there's there's it depends on what you want to eat. Um, you know the, the the bakers out there. You're gonna find bakers. You know wherever you go for pretty much any meal. Um, you know the home fries in the morning. Go to Goldie's in the morning. Uh, get a get a Goldie's breakfast burrito. Uh, that that'll have potatoes in it. Um, you'll I mean French fries and tots wherever you go. You know if if that's the tavern downtown or or uh, Chandler's in the evening. Um, you know, that's you're going to be able to find it. There's there's no problem there. Well, I'm fired up about this. Jared Zabransky joins us here on the show. Of course, you were the quarterback of the 2007 team that won that iconic game in the Fiesta Bowl against Oklahoma. How often do you have people coming up and asking you about that night? Well, it's, it's obviously a very, very fond memory for about 95% of the football community everywhere you go. Now, you will find a couple Sooners uh, here and there. That, that that memory is uh, more infamous to them than it is famous. So it's uh, being down here in Houston and now back in the oil and gas out here, um, you know, you, you start a conversation with, you know, a lot of times friends or colleagues will, hey, you guys remember that game during an introduction? I kind of tell them, hey, don't, don't do that as much because you don't know who that person is going to be because there are a lot of, a lot of <laughs> OU students around here. Yeah, yeah. So I – 
I tend to ask, are you a Sooner? And typically the answer is no. And if it's yes, then, uh, you know, it, it typically ends well because, uh, you know, that, I think there was a lot of mutual respect gained from that game. Um, it was a great game, obviously, a hard fought game on both sides of the ball. And, um, you know, they, uh, OU's had some success, you know, over the past hundred years. So they've got plenty of national championships to, to point back to if that argument ever exists. That's so. pretty funny. Yeah. You ask them, are you a sooner? They say, no, you say, yeah, I was a quarterback in that Fiesta bowl. They say, yes. <laughs> exactly. And you go, uh, how about the weather today? How about the weather that we're having? <laughs> exactly. No, that, that, that guy's just my doppelganger. And I, right. that, that wasn't me. That's right. Jared Zabransky joining us this morning here on the show. Well, we are super fired up. We can't wait. And it says a lot about the community in Boise that they really put this thing together. And I'm sure you felt that during your years playing college football there. It is a Cinderella program that burst upon the national scene, elbowed its way at the dinner table, and they definitely are prideful in what they have. And I'm sure you have felt that, and I think it really emanates from that program across so many different things that come out of Boise and certainly how we feel going out there. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we kind of had to, like you said, elbow ourselves. I, I like that term. Uh, it's It was something that we consistently made sure that everybody knew, hey, no matter what you think, we are going to prove that we belong to be here. And, you know, we've had our backs against the walls on several occasions. We don't mind playing the underdog role. We thrive on it. Um, and that's that's a continuation. And, and I heard something very interesting last week on game day. Uh, Kirk Herstory mentioned, uh, you know, teams, when there's four people on that panel that pick one winner, the other team usually wins. And that, that motivation, I never heard that mentioned before, but that motivation is what we always used, not just from that show, but from media across the board and from, you know, uh, poster board material that we'd get from clippings from, uh, other publications from you know whoever we were playing UNR or Fresno at the time or whoever wanted to bad talk us and and allow us to put that extra chip on our shoulder we we gravitated to grab that and utilize that as extra motivation during seasons the the length of the season and the grind of the season there's things and processes that you go through every day that can can get mundane and if you have something, and you guys know this in, in your industry as well, if you have something that you can grab and, and pull you and motivate you, grab it and use it. And uh, we did that so often. And, you know, it's just it's whatever you can get that little edge in and, and with. And uh, they continue to do a great job at that. Jared Zabransky joining us this morning here on the show. We are so excited to be going there. We're so excited you decided to be our first guest in honor of this trip. So congratulations, man, on all the success you've had post-football as well. And hopefully we'll catch up with you again soon, bud. Hey, thank you guys again for having me on. And uh, that, that's a game I'm targeting to go back there. So all right. I'm going back to watch it. I'm going to get a hold of y'all. Let's go get a baker and a beer. <laughs>